Now we can see the materials required. First, we need a Piltier module. I have given the link in the description for all the items I have used here so that you can buy. Second, we need few plywoods or sunboard or even thermocool which is better. And we need a 12 volt CPU access fan and ordinary motor with propellers. I have cut the heat sink in the rectangular shape. We can buy one for the built in module itself, the switches and batteries. This is a self made battery, lithium ion batteries, and we need a glue or even a hot glue gun. This is a thermal paste which exists a thermal contact between the built in module and the heat sink. Now I am joining the two plywoods. The dimensions are up to your wish because you can use any dimension. This is not a same one. So now make a hole like this for the Peltier module and cut the piece out of it. Yes, with a knife. Now it's completed. Just see whether it fits. Yes, it's perfectly fitting. So it's time for to glue it and keep it aside. Be careful while applying the glue because we are going to use water on the other side, it will not penetrate through it. So, wherever you are using a glue, just remember one thing there will be no loopholes for the water to come out. I have made a cut in the board like this, and it is just to insert the plate. Yes. Just apply some paste and stick it hardly so that it will not come out. This is completed. Now it's time for us to paste the heat sink tube. Heat sink. So the small piece comes on the side which is cooling and other side will generate heat. Just, just apply large or more amount of paste in it and just stick to it as I have applied the paste now now it's time to just fit the heat sink just give a tight press it's not yes it's now completed now repeat the same in the opposite direction the built-in model works in a way that PN junction one side will create a heat surface on the other side will create a cool surface we don't want the heat surface so we want to remove the heat so we are using water to cool down it and generate a cold surface on the opposite side which we are using a rectangular shaped heat sink if time permits i will make a separate video of this working as soon as possible so just subscribe if you can get more information regarding this project and several projects. Now paste uh, the CPU heatsink, sorry, CPU fan near the heatsink. Not very close, just have an inch distance. Next, we are going to paste this fan, which is going to suck all the air from the cold side to the atmosphere. So it's like it's now time for us to build a water trap. Just apply the glue in the corners and paste it. Just to move on thing. Water can easily penetrate through even a minute holes in this cardboard. So we have to apply glue in such a way that water will not penetrate outside. I hope you can understand how what I'm saying. So I will show you in the letter. Now completed. Now I show you how to apply the glue. Just apply in the corners of all the directions so that the water will not be penetrated outside so it's now completed now take a cardboard piece like this and make a hole you can even take something larger sorry i mean hole the hole can even be larger it's used to suck the outside air now just paste the cardboard with the glue just apply the gum here we are not going to use water so we don't want to care much 
like that it's not completed now we are going to solve the two wires for the motor two in the same way one for positive and another for negative once it is completed now it's time for us to join all the positive pins and all the negative pins so that we can use the power supply, single power supply now we are going to join it in this parallel connection so that the current will be divided among the three components now just connect an additional wire to take that positive and negative terminal outside just apply a soldering and join the positive and negative wires which we, which are going to connect it to the battery so it's now completed it's now time for us to stick the top just take a piece of cardboard and place it on the top so that the cold air will not escape out in the top side to the atmosphere Allow it to dry to the computer. And it is working with the system. But even though I feel the air is not sufficient, I gonna remove the blades and I've made a made my own blade with this aluminium sheets and I'm not, I'm going to use it for so now it we can press it. So it is working. I can see that it works better than the previous one. Now we are going to make three holes in the cardboard and just insert the shape of aluminium needle or even wire. So, just repeat in the same way for making the wings. Now we are going to paste it, and on the other side, we are going to use our ordinary wood. So it's now completed. Now join all the strips to your cardboard or even a piece of wood. So it's now completed. Just add water. On the other side, you can even add food. It's up to your wish. So, for this only, I said that water should not penetrate. So, now it's now testing time. You can see how it's working. Just we are going to connect the batteries and see how it's working. The cleanness increases with time. Since the air, it should add as to possible the heating and the indicator. Time and to you. So thanks for watching. Subscribe if you need more. Like, share and comment.